Okay, so what do we have here? Well, we have a rectangle, and we want to find the perimeter of this particular rectangle, and we're told that the area of the rectangle is 24. So given this information and, of course, the dimensions of this particular rectangle, we want to uh, calculate the actual perimeter. I'm going to give you a hint here. Matter of fact, you can probably see the hint in the title of this video. But uh, anyways, let's just talk about this figure here real quick. Now, let's suppose I didn't tell you this is a rectangle. Could you interpret that, in fact, this is a rectangle just based upon the figure? Well, hopefully you could. Let's just look at it. Well, you can't say that this thing looks like a rectangle. Therefore, in fact, it must be a rectangle. It never really works that way in geometry. But what you can confirm is that we have a four-sided polygon, i.e. a quadrilateral, for those of you who need to kind of review those terms. Or maybe you never heard those terms before. But these things right here, okay, these little boxes in the corner, indicate that these are right angles, i.e. 90 degrees. So in fact, uh, this is by definition a rectangle, which means that the opposite sides, this uh, side here, is the same as this side, the congruent, and then this side is the same as this side. So kind of give you some nice hints uh, to be able to solve this problem. And in the uh, title, I give a hint, if you want to actually try to do this problem yourself, you're going to need to form a quadratic equation. So this is a very typical classic type of word problem uh, that you'll see in any kind of algebra course, algebra one, algebra two, etc. So if you want to go ahead and try to do this, go ahead and uh, uh, put your answers into the comment section. Again, be very specific about what the question is asking. I'm looking for the perimeter of this rectangle. Okay, so I'm kind of giving you, um, you know, extra hints here. But anyways, we're going to get into this in just one second. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you the answer. Uh, but first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, you can be successful in mathematics, and I'm especially speaking to those of you out there that uh, struggle in math. Maybe you don't like math. Maybe you think you're a bad math student. I'm telling you, uh, don't believe that, okay? What you need is great math instruction, clear, understandable, and comprehensive. So if you're at the middle school, high school, even college level in terms of your math course, uh, check out my math help program. I'm, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. It will help you out big time, I promise. Also, if you happen to be preparing for a test with a dedicated math section, many of you are going to be taking a test like this. You don't even realize it. I'm talking about entrance exams, placement exams, certification exams, things like the SAT, ACT, maybe the Alex, ACUPLACER, um, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, teacher certification exam. Anyways, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, I have award-winning middle and high school math courses for homeschoolers, a whole homeschool program, so check that out if you homeschool. If you need math, uh, if you need great math notes, I'm going to leave links to mine uh, notes in the description of this video. Hopefully, you have your own great notes. If you do not, you need to work on note-taking as this is critical uh, to be successful in math. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that helps me out. Okay, so I'm going to show you the answer right now. If you don't want to see it, pause the video. Uh, but again, you are going to need a quadratic equation. It's a bit of a hint. Here uh, is the answer. Okay, so the perimeter is 22, and this would be the dimensions of this rectangle. Now, uh, if you got this right, I must reward you with a nice happy face, an A++, a 100. You know, uh, these days... Um, Back in the good old days when I went to school in the 70s and 80s, the best you can really do is 100%. But now you can go like 150%. Matter of fact, the GPAs, the best you could do back in my days, the GPA was 4.0. But now you can get like a 10.6 GPA, whatever the case is. Listen, that's pretty awesome. If you got this correct, nice job. Okay, so here's the thing. I bet you a lot of you put in three as your answer because what you did was uh, solve this quadratic equation and you said oh i got the answer and maybe you just put in that um the result of solving that equation that's a pretty common mistake remember that uh you need to always ask yourself did i answer the question and the question is is not what the dimensions of this rec rectangle is is what is the perimeter so you're gonna you really need to know what the perimeter is and how to calculate it. So I'm going to cover all this in just one second, but uh, let's go ahead and 
take a look at what we need to do. Okay, so again, we're dealing with a rectangle and we have a big clue here uh, that the area is equal to 24 and we have the dimensions. This side here is X and this side is X plus five. So you're gonna have to, um, uh, we're gonna have to involve this given information, this area and this figure to figure this thing out. So in order to do that, you need to know the formula for the area of a rectangle and that's the length times width. And hopefully you already knew that. If you don't know that, this is one of these basic um, math geometry formulas that you should commit to your long-term memory. But anyways, the area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. So we're going to use this, this piece of information and this um, figure to tie this all in to uh, write in a nice algebraic equation. Okay, so length times the width. So here's the length, here's the width. So we could just multiply this times this, and we know that this would be the area. So this side times this side, or the length times the width, is equal to 24, okay, or the area. Okay, of course, the area is 24. So basically, we have a nice equation here, all right? So x times x plus 5 is equal to 24. This is, i.e., the uh, area of a rectangle, length times width. So we need to solve for x. So how do we solve for x? And this was the hint I gave you that this is a quadratic equation. Now, what's the one thing we know about quadratic equations? Well, uh, hopefully you know a lot about how to solve them. If you do not, that's, you know, I would say that you um, really, really need to review this as this is critical um, in terms of algebra. Okay, you absolutely need to know how to handle quadratic equations. And this involves a good amount of skills. So there's different approaches. This particular problem works out pretty nicely, but you need to really make sure you understand quadratic equations. But the main thing here uh, every quadratic equation is going to have two solutions. Okay, so we'll talk about that in a second. But let's go ahead and take our first step here. So we have, we have x times x plus 5 equals 24. So what do we need to do? Well, right here, the way this particular format is, it's best that we go ahead and distribute this x into uh, uh, x plus 5. So we're going to end up with x squared plus 5x is equal to 24. So in a situation like this, you want to set this equation equal to 0. So I need to subtract 24 from both sides of the equation, and this is what you have. Okay, So this is uh, called a quadratic equation in standard form, highest to lowest power. And then here, uh, you may be familiar with ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. This is um, a quadratic equation in standard form. So we need to um, oftentimes have an equation, a quadratic equation in standard form, because if we can't solve this equation easily, and I'm talking about how the way I solved it, then we're going to have to use what? You're going to have to use a quadratic formula. So I'm kind of giving you a little additional bonus material about quadratic equations. If you're struggling with quadratic equations, I would definitely um, suggest that you check out like my Algebra 1 course, Algebra 1, Algebra 2, whatever level that you're at. Okay, so here we have x squared plus 5x minus 24 is equal to 0. So what's the first thing you want to do? Well, we have a quadratic trinomial. You want to attempt to factor this, okay? We always, we always want to factor when we can, but sometimes we can't factor, and when we can't factor, we're going to have to go to the quadratic formula. But in this case, I made this problem nice and easy. This quadratic trinomial factors as x plus 8 times x minus 3. Now, can you factor this? Okay, do you do you have the skills to factor this? And here is the answer. Okay, if you don't know how to factor, this would be an algebra emergency. Okay, so in other words, sirens going off, everything else. You absolutely must be a master at factoring to be successful in algebra. So again, go back and you just make note of what you know and don't know and review this. Okay, again, you know, I'm kind of being redundant. But if you're taking any sort of algebra course, factoring quadratic equations, absolutely, they're just everywhere. Okay, you really truly can't pass algebra without knowing this stuff. Okay, so here we have x plus 8 times x minus 3. This is equal to 0. So we're going to set each of these factors equal to 0. So it's x plus 8 equals, uh, is equal to 0 and x minus 3 is equal to 0. Then we re uh, we're going to go ahead and solve the respective equations. So here we have x is equal to negative 8. In this equation, we have x is equal to 3. So these are our two solutions. But we need to think about this for a second. I'm like, well, which answer do I use? Well, remember, x represents 
um, a side. It represents distance, right? So are we going to have a negative distance? We're like, no, that's not going to make sense. So look, we're going to throw that. We're going to throw that negative out, and we're gonna, uh, that negative solution out, and we'll keep the positive solution. So x is equal to three. Okay, so that's how we solved for x. So that means this side of this rectangle would be three, and this side would be what? Three plus five, or eight. Okay, so we have three and eight. Well, and let's just check this here. If I wanted to find the area of this rectangle, it would be what? Length, the length times the width, or eight um, times three, and that, in fact, checks out as 24, which is what we were told. Okay, so this is good, and right now, we need to now uh, get into the perimeter. So what is the perimeter? Actually, let me show you right here. What is the perimeter of a rectangle or a perimeter of anything? Well, it's the distance around the entire figure. In this case, we're dealing with a rectangle. So we're going to have to add up this side, this side, this side, and this side. So you need to know that a rectangle opposite sides are congruent, or i.e. the same. So this just becomes a nice addition problem. Okay, so we have 8 here, 3 here, 8 here, 3 here. The perimeter is just going to be the sum of all the sides. So 3 plus 8 plus 3 plus 8 is 22. And there you go. So again, if you got this all right, that shows uh, shows me that you have some pretty good um, algebra skills here. Okay, one, you're able to kind of reason through this problem, set up a nice quadratic equation, solve it. You know, hopefully you didn't uh, use a quadratic formula. Uh, hopefully you know how to factor this and you did all these, you know, various different things and put, you know, kind of put this all together. You want to make sure that you show all your work in a problem like this. Don't just kind of scribble uh, because um, or scribble things out uh, or, or not show steps because your teacher, um, or, you know, on a quiz or test or whatnot is going to be looking at this. You want them to be you want to be able to tell the story right from like, hey, how you set this problem up, how you got your answer. Your teacher will uh, greatly appreciate that. And if you happen to make a little tiny error, your teacher is also going to give you partial credit. Okay, so uh, again, uh, if you are taking any sort of algebra course, expect problems like this. And if you need additional help with this, I have a ton of uh, videos on my uh, YouTube channel and all these topics, quadratic equations, factoring, etc. But if you really, really want my best stuff, I would suggest my, my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 course. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.